Lena, do you want to give us your thoughts on what those what that process and those steps should look like in order to um, put together a successful startup? Yeah, um, first of all, I'm really pleased um, that um, I, I didn't manage to hear what Saha had said, but Pratul is having a co-founder and Hermant is moving in terms of you know, listening to the customers and developing the product. Those are exactly the steps that need to go. Um, first of all, I'd like to just paraphrase one thing, though. <clears throat> There's many, many things that we learn from people who are seasoned uh, entrepreneurs and seasoned companies. We do live in a different world. All of you, the digital generation, are working in a very different world. And I had recommended that book, uh, Exponential Organizations, to everybody to understand how the way companies scale today is very different from the years before. And uh, in this book, it talks about companies like Airbnb and Waze and uh, Uber that leverages other people's assets. So one of the key steps you wanna take is you wanna try to figure out how can you zero the costs of, or the, of your operations and what you're doing. So you look at the various sort of the value chain of whatever is needed in your company and the steps that are needed to build your product or, or, or develop the product with the customer and then try to figure out where in this value chain you can actually zero your cost by leveraging and being very creative. So I say this, do listen to what other people say, but recognize also that, you know, sometimes the craziest ideas <laughs> actually make it. Uh, and so you, you just need to, when you do listen to your customers, and you are co-creating with them, your chances of success are higher, okay? Second part I would say is that um, it's not going to be a once thing. It's not just once that you're gonna sit down and listen for the right questions or the right answers, then you develop your solution and then you go to market and then you scale. It's actually more of a circular process. So there's this constant iteration and reiteration that goes on. So you go in there, you go to the market, the customer gives you further feedback, you come back, you reiterate, and then you go back at the market again. Having said that, one of the key things to look out for is this. There is a process of brainstorming, and then there's a process of deciding what you want to execute. And then the third process is getting the feedback, and then you reiterate again. You want to keep these processes separate. And one of the things I knew in my company, because all of us were so innovative when I was running my e-learning company, and lots of young innovators, lots of ideas, is that we started brainstorming even during the execution process. And that's the wrong thing to do because you'll have 100 people going in 100 different directions. You need to make, at a certain point, you need to make a decision on what are you going to execute, and then you execute. And even while you're executing, you realize that you're doing it wrong. It's okay. Stick to the plan. Then you go through a process of rethinking, reiterate, decide, and then go again. So it's this constant cycle behind. Uh, Ahmed, do you want to give us some uh, sense of how, what the process that uh, entrepreneurs need to go through looks like? Uh, sure. You know, I mean, there are different approaches into that. Uh, but, uh, I mean, based on my experience and the number of startups I, I have been working uh, was that one of the most important steps before forming your startup is it's highly uh, recommended that you validate your uh, your uh, business concept and your technology uh, before you establish your startup. So uh, whatever that mean, I mean, uh, getting solid feedback from prospect customers, uh, testing uh, a beta version of the product, uh, testing a prototype of the product. So uh, so once you establish your startup, you know that where are you heading. Uh, with, uh, with, with what tools, to which direction, and this will cut uh, your long journey short, actually. And this will make you save a lot uh, on your time, on your efforts, on your money, rather than establishing your startup and then validating your concept uh, while in the go. So uh, again, once you uh, uh, identify what you need, it will be easier for you to, to identify the kind of uh, of team you would like to build uh, and uh, what kind of investment you're looking after, uh, whether the kind of technology uh, you're depending on is available in uh, uh, within your hands or you need to to outsource it some way or uh, or the other. So, I mean, once you identify all those aspects, so I think it's. It's easy that you you start your uh, your startup. Uh, one of the important thing you 
you, you need to define before establishing as well is identify which niche within the target market you're, uh, you're after you will going to position yourself into uh, as a stock. 